everybody, this is Terry Doherty and I'm with the Mom Choice Awards and we're at the BEA Film Studio and I'm here this afternoon with Rosemary Cohen to talk about two of the five books that have earned the Mom's Choice Awards seal. The first is Anoush, the Daughter of King Shen, which is a non-fiction piece and The Mother of Jerusalem is Crying, which is a fictional story. You were telling me before we went on the air that this is the characters are Muslim, Christian, and Jewish. and Jewish. There are three families, three generations. So I go through their life, the entire life from beginning and showing uh, how they wanted to leave each minority or each uh, religion's people, they wanted to live uh, happily their life. But unfortunately, with all the discriminations, with all the problems, politics, then they were all, their lives were changed. And my aim is to show that uh, everybody's tears have the same colors and the suffering is the same. I try to show the suffering so hopefully people will feel like to work more towards peace than towards war and killing and hating each other. What kind of reaction have you gotten? I mean, have you had the opportunity to do readings with the book at bookstores or talk about it with audiences? Well, I uh, my style is I don't read from the book when I go to the libraries or to book signings. Mm -hmm. I, I suppose there are people who have read the book, which there have been, and I like mostly to engage people in discussion. And that way it goes a long way. People have questions, they have read the book, and they want to know more. So I think that's more interesting for me than just reading some parts of the book. So it has been great. I mean, I have just now a lady, she came here, she has read, she told me this should be on a movie. It's a movie film really, which is like that. It's a very touching story. I don't think I can write another story like this because having three families, three generations, the years, the names, the everything, it's very difficult. But. It's, it's really very deep book. And at the end, which I, I have written in the car that if you don't like one of the people, because there is always discrimination, if you don't like army, it's like three books. And uh, I say, don't read like, if you don't like Armenians, don't read the Armenian part, go to Jewish part. If you don't like Jews, read the Muslim part, and the Palestinian part. So it's just to read one part, then you are engaged in the book. And then at the end, there is something, a chapter, which I call it Koda. It's the, uh, the main character of the book that talks with God. And I think the question and the dialogue between the uh, character and God is that it's everybody's question. We have one day questions saying, why this happened? How is it happening? And really showing the pain and the suffering, but the love for humanity. And at the end, it's very upbeat because I have always hope in life. I am always hoping that finally God and goodness will win this world. Awesome. Now, Anoush, you were telling me you had created this for your grandchildren. For my grandchildren. This is the everything I have painted. This one I painted because this is a story that my mother has told me when I was a child, and it has been a strength in my life to continue whenever I go difficulties. So I painted this when I was maybe 14 years old. Oh, that's beautiful. 14, 15, with black pencils. But inside I have painted everything. It's on silk painting. I'm specialized in silk painting. So I have everything which is painted on, on the silk. Um, and um, so the story starts, and uh, that's the painting relating to the stories. That is beautiful. Now, how? What audience would this be for? You said it was for your grandchildren. Were they very young? You know, young I or? go with not too young. But I have heard this story from very young age, as much as I remember. But I think the story can. It's also very touching for adults because it gives a lot of hope. And um, so, I don't know, like Cinderella, is it for adults or for children? True. Both. It's the same type. So, everybody is interested to read it. And I had yesterday a lady here, she the, took one of the books and asked me to sign the paintings because she said she's going to frame them in her house and put it there. Beautiful. Yeah, really. They're, they're, some of them are really very nice. I mean, they're, I have 46 or 45 paintings. Wow. And this is the silk you stretch and you can, uh, I paint on them and then it can be framed. So, so beautiful. Yeah. And they're all techniques. The people who are silk painters, 
they will see there are different techniques of uh, how to paint them. Well, it sounds like you have had a fabulous Book Expo America. Yes. And you're going to have another interview later today. Yes. So congratulations. Thank you so much. And people call me like uh, Mom Chorsa World Silver Author because I have all the silver um, uh, awards from you. So thank you so much for Absolutely. the occasion. Congratulations. Thank you.